today. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, Amen. Um, the title of this teaching is Three Prophetic Keys for Your Multiplication Anointing. Amen. Three prophetic keys for your multiplication anointing. Amen. 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 You know, why, why the number three? You know, the number three represents the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know why, but I think I feel like this bilingual anointing to do it today. Uh, hallelujah. Um, tres llaves proféticas para una unción de multiplicación. But I'm going to do it all mostly in English. Amen. So the number three represents the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And the number three also represents, hallelujah, resurrection. It means that everything that is dead will be resurrected in your life. How I many say amen? Amen. Amen. Is um, resurrected on the third day, um, um, you will be resurrected um, every day of your life. And 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 if, if there's dead situation, is there's impossible impossibilities in your life? Everything will be resurrected in the mighty name of Jesus. How many say Amen? Amen. You know, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter four, verse twelve. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12 in the Old Testament, it says, and if one prevails against him, you know, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not easily or quickly broken. Amen. And if one prevails against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefolded cord is not easily broken. So um, the threefolded cord it represents God, you, and I today. So that's the threefolded cord. Amen. So when we're connected in one accord, in one spirit, in one mind, you know, the enemy cannot break that 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 um that cord very easily. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So the number three, I'm gonna give you um something about um you're going to be performing three prophetic supernatural miracles. And God wants for you and I to walk and live in, in, in these three um, types of, of miracles that you're going to start performing in this season. Amen. 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 Now, number one, God wants you to um, live and walk in your prophetic purpose. You know, a lot of people, they're just going to church. They're reading their Bible, praying but they don't know their prefer, their prophetic purpose. You know, they don't know what they're supposed to do. They don't, they don't know um, what, what, what they're called for. But let me tell you that in this season, God is going to speak to you and reveal you things that you did not know of. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Number two, you're going to receive prophetic supernatural blessings. Amen. Only one, two persons. Amen. 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 You're Amen. about to receive prophetic supernatural blessings. In other Amen. words, God is about to surprise you more than ever in this season. Amen. And number three, Amen. Hallelujah, you, you will be resurrected. Everything that is dead, every dead situation in your life will be resurrected. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Yeah. I'm going to ask. Um, um, Grace, if she can read Matthew 14, starting with verse 17 and ending at 21. Matthew 14, 21, Matthew 14, 17 through 21. Yes, prophet. <clears throat> the amplified version? Yes. Amen. They replied, we have nothing here except five loaves and two fish. He said, bring them here to me. 
Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up towards heaven, he blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people, and they all ate and were satisfied. They picked up 12 full baskets of the leftover broken pieces. There were about 5,000 men who ate besides women and children. Amen. Amen. God bless Maria and Indio, my son William in LA, Melissa in Orange County, Tasha in Los Angeles, Aaron in Visalia, hallelujah, Richard in Florida, Hillary in um, Pennsylvania, or Philadelphia and Philly, hallelujah, Stacy in Chicago, hallelujah, Chicago's in the house, Heidi, God bless Amen. you, Heidi, in Ohio, pretty soon she's going to be coming over here with her daughter, um, Grace, oh, her name is Gracie, and she's going to meet Grace, Amen. double Grace from Texas, hallelujah, Amen. I mean, saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is um Anna um on the Zoom? Um, I don't see her, Prophet. Hallelujah. I wonder what's going on. Um, do you have her number, Maria? I Avi? do. Okay. Yes. Can you call her and just uh, troll her so she can get connected? Probably she's having trouble. Okay. Yes. And and, and I'll 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 just um you know, wait for about a minute so you cannot lose nothing, okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank All you. Right. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So remember the title of this teaching is Three Prophetic Keys for Your Multiplication Anointing. God has spoken to me and he said he's, he has released unto his people an, an anointing of multiplication. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Everything that you put in God's hands it's going to be multiplied like never before. God Amen. is about to multiply. You put um, your business in, in God's hands, it's going to be multiplied. You put your family in God's hands, it's going to be multiplied. You, you put uh, um, the seed in God's hands, it's going to be multiplied. Everything and anything that you put in God's hands, um, he's about to give you that anointing, a multiplication. And today Amen. you're going to, receive and you're going to learn and you're going to um, see how you're going to receive this um, um, prophetic uh, multiplication anointing so you can um, perform, say perform. 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 So uh, I, can I, can, I can do. I can do. I can do. What are you going to do? You're going to um, get these three prophetic keys tonight so you can perform supernatural prophetic miracles for the rest of your life. Amen. Those are the, uh, amen. Ones, the miracles. How many amen. say amen? Amen. amen? Every time that you pray for somebody, something needs to happen. How many amen. say amen? Amen. amen? amen. You know, somebody needs to be saved. Somebody needs to be delivered. Somebody needs to be healed. Somebody needs to be blessed. But you need the anointing of God. And, and the anointing of God, there's a price to pay. The more you see God, the more he gives of his anointing unto you. But there's right. a special anointing that God has released unto, unto his people in this season is uh, the anointing of multiplication. That Amen. everything, in Amen. other words, I'll just put it like this. If you have um, $100, all of a sudden you have $500 or $5,000 or $50,000. That's the anointing of multiplication. And tonight... God is going to open your eyes to receive these three prophetic keys from God. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say hallelujah. 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 Say praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Tasha, just real quick. Um, well, what have you, what has um, the Lord been putting in your heart in a minute or two? Real quickly. I'm sorry, say that again. I was trying to put my earpiece in while I'm driving. Yeah, what has the Lord been uh, speaking to you in this season? Oh, God bless you, Hanky in San Diego, Devana 
in Oklahoma, just getting her car ready to come to California in Richard and Florida. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Say amen and amen. 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 Um, that there is transition, it's movement. It might be loca a locational movement um, or just a transition in the spirit. But something's about to take place. I know that part. And yeah. when it does, it's going to rain. Like, yeah. it, 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 and I feel like if it's not just me. I'm sorry if y'all hear my car. Um, but if you if you feel some type of pressure mm. right now, um, don't stop. <laughs> Just don't stop. Don't stop. Because right before um, the blessing, that's when you'll feel that pressure. It'll feel extra heavy. Um, but don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Because something is like literally, I know without a shadow of a doubt, it's not even around the corner. It's here. It's here. So, oh, uh, excuse me, um, Hanky, <laughs> you need to unmute the, the your mic. You have your mic um, muted, so you need to unmute it. Hallelujah. Um, Hanky from San Diego, Henrietta. Uh, she's saying that she can hear, so she needs to I unmute her mic, right? Can she hear it. now? Yeah. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Okay, so you know what Tasha was sharing is something like this. You know, there's like a fountain inside of us. Amen. And this fountain is bubbling and bubbling. And it's about to erupt like a volcano. And all, all those um, things are the supernatural blessings that are about to erupt in the spirit realm so you can receive it in the natural. Um, God told me um, last year in December, um, he said to tell his people that in this year, you're about to receive something that you never have received in your entire life. Thank you. Amen. Only a couple of people um, um, believe Amen. and are ready for that. Amen. 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 I said Amen. that in this season, you're going to receive houses that you never built. You're going to receive cars. You're going to receive um, supernatural miracle money into your Every bank account, you know, while others, while others are going to be in, in famine and in poverty, we, the people of God that are seeking God, we're going to be in prosperity. Amen. I mean, Amen. Amen. God Amen. says to the people, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you till the end. So yeah. don't ever let anyone tell you that God is not with you. Because God's promise is, I will be with you till the end. I will never forsake you. I will not be like men or like so-called friends that they say, one day I'm with you and now I didn't like what you did or you did not bless me today or or whatever. And now you're not my friend. I, I'm, I'm going to abandon you. I'm going to forsake you. No, God is not like people. How many say amen? amen? Amen. I always say this. People are like elevators. One day they pick you up. And another day they bring you down. But God, he always takes us from glory to glory. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to release the three prophetic keys. Number one, this is relating to the scripture of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Number one is that Jesus, he blesses the bread. First, amen. God brings the blessing unto each and every one of us. Amen. You know, he blesses you so you can be blessed going in and blessed coming out. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Miracles happen when you live always in the blessing of God. Amen. That's amen. where miracles occur. When, when, when you live in the blessings of God. In Genesis 1.28, the Bible says, hallelujah, God blessed them. And God said unto them, be, fake, be fruitful and multiply. See, there's the word multiply, multiplication. And replenish the earth and subdue it and have what? And have what? The fish of the dominion. Sea. Dominion. Say yeah. dominion. 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 See, in other words, God wants you to have full control 
of the things here on earth, not the things have control of you. Amen. Amen. In other Amen. words, there's nothing wrong in, 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 um, in, in having money, but it's wrong when money has you. Amen. It's wrong when money controls Amen. you. Yeah. Amen. That's why God says, you know, that he rejoices in the prosperity of his people. Amen. Yeah. So God wants you to have money, but he doesn't want you to, um, for money to have a control over you. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Number two, Jesus multiplied the bread. That's the second prophetic key. Jesus multiplied the bread. Amen. After Jesus blessed the bread, he, he took it. Hallelujah. He took it in his hands, the bread, and he broke it. And immediately everything multiplied. Yes. How many say amen? Amen. Take check this revelation. In the Last Supper, Jesus broke the bread. When he broke the bread, he was saying, you know what? You that are in Zoom today on Wednesday, you're not going to break down. Amen. You're going to break through. Amen. 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 Yes. You're not going to be all worried and, and, and saying, oh, my God, how am I going to do it? Oh, the prices of gasoline are rising up. I don't know. I, I, I told um, Evangelist Alexa, and I, I told her two months ago, in, in the 1st of July, all the gas prices are going to be going down. And in September the 1st, all the food prices are going to be going down. You know, did I tell you that evangelist Alexa or not? Yes, you did. And 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 we can see that it's happening, right? The gas prices. Yes. Yeah. But I come yes. to tell you, the same God of yesterday that put gas, you know, years back, that same God that we serve is going to put gas today and tomorrow. Amen. Amen. No matter if the prices go up. No matter the food prices go up, God will always take care of us. How many say amen? amen. amen. Say with me, my God is great, my God is good. And check this out. Every time God multiplies something, there's always blessings left over. Yes. Yes. It's getting good. It's going to get more good. Believe me. Yes. <laughs> this thing is off the wall. How many say amen? Amen. amen. I want you to know that there were more than 5,000 people. And there's people in the church right now that cannot even feed themselves or, or, or a guest, you know. <laughs> but God is going to show, is showing you the keys. He's giving you the keys uh, and the revelation how to perform these kind of miracles. There was 12 baskets left over. You know why there was 12 baskets left over? Because the 12 disciples were going to cross over to the other side. So hey. God so God is saying, I'm in control of every situation. I'm in control even of your tomorrow. I will, have, I will get the blessings and make sure that they're with you for tomorrow. Why are you worrying? God is saying, why are you worrying? Yeah. Look at the birds. You know... I, I have a dog, and, and, and when my dog doesn't um, doesn't like some food, I just say, okay, you know what? A blessings go to the birds, and I get it, and I, and I put it away on the side, and you see all the birds coming from the trees, and <laughs> they're just going at it. See, <laughs> God has in control the food even for the birds, and that's why he says, you guys are worth more than birdies. Amen. You yes. guys are my sons and my daughters, and you guys are worrying about what you're going to eat. Come on. Yes, I mean. You guys are going to are worrying about how, how you're going to pay the bills. If you just do what God says to do, everything will go right in your life. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know why I'm going to say this, but, you know, um, even, you know, people that are in the mafia, if they give their tithings and their offerings to a church, God's going to bless them. Because you know why? They have found a secret. You know, they might be doing it for the wrong reasons, but God 
will always bless his word because he cannot go back on his word. This word um, works for whoever works it. I want you to write that down. The word of God works for whoever works it. Amen. In other words, if you do what the word of God says, it's going to work for you. That's what's going to happen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. How many are receiving something from the Lord today? Amen. Amen. And, and check this out. I want you to notice is that the 12 baskets were left over. That was after everybody was fed. It wasn't during. It was after. In other words, God made sure that everybody ate. And then there was the 12 baskets left over for the 12 disciples. I always say this. The 12 Baskets left over are for me and you for the 12 months of the year. Every day of the month, 12 months of the year, God will have leftover blessings for you and I. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So in the hands of our Lord Jesus, in the hands of our God, when you put the seed in his hands, he, that will bring automatically multiplication in your life. Amen. So look Amen. at it like this. If you have a seed, if you have money, you know, if you have money and all you have in your hand is money, but if you put it in God's hands, that's your harvest. Amen. It becomes your harvest as soon as you put it that seed in God's hands. Amen. How many see that? The yeah. neighbor, neighbor, your seed will become a harvest in God's hands. So in other words, what that means is that God is going to bless you with a supernatural blessing of having more than enough. Why more than enough? So you can meet all your needs and you can bless others. Man. Amen. You can say, Amen. hey, you know what? I'll invite you to, to go eat and let's have a, some, some chicken tacos tonight. <laughs> How many say amen? amen. Yes. You know, I'm just going to throw this little, little um, <laughs> commercial, a free commercial for Del Taco. Del Taco, they have on Thursdays up to 11 p.m. three chicken tacos. And let me tell you, they're pretty good. You know? <laughs> Papa, you forgot the bean and cheese burrito. Oh, that's 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 another revelation. That's another basket left over. Let's go to um hallelujah. Matthew 19:29. Matthew 19:29 Matthew 19:29 The Bible says and everyone who has left houses brothers sisters or father or mother or children or their fields for my name's sake will receive a hundredfold and it will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Oh, man. Amen. You know, Amen. If, you, if you've been waiting in line for such a long time, let me tell you, you're the next one to be in the front. I receive. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Check this out. If say if there's 100 people and you're the last right there, um, like number 90. Well, what God is going to do, he's going to turn around that, li that line. And now the 90, you're going to be up in the front now. Hallelujah. Amen. There's going to, in other words, God is saying there's a turnaround coming in your life in this season. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. How many are receiving something from the Lord? I'm receiving. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is saying, you know what? For serving me, for obeying me, if you leave your 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 family for me, it doesn't mean that you hate your family. No, it's that you just put God first. 
How many say amen? Amen. amen. You know, many, many, many times family says, oh, you're always giving the, the, your money to, to the church or to the pastor or to brothers and sisters. But God mm -hmm. says, if you leave your father, mother, brothers, sisters, if you leave the, your houses, God says, I promise you a blessing of a hundredfold plus eternal life. And God, and, and that's what, well, check this out. God says, I promise you a hundredfold blessing. Number two, God says, I promise you eternal life. And number three, God says, you will no longer be last. Now you'll be first. Amen. There's amen. a number three again. How many say amen? amen? Amen. So the last prophetic key number three, Jesus gave the bread. Remember, he blessed the bread, he broke the bread, then he gave the bread to the disciples so that they amen. can feed the people. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. See, um, everybody wants most of the time the prophet to do everything, but now the prophet is teaching you things and releasing prophetic keys so you can go do it. Amen. Uh, Amen. Only a couple of people, I think, Amen. like that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I, I, I said, now I'm giving you keys so you can go perform supernatural miracles in front of people. How many say amen? Amen. amen? Miracles always happens when you give. Amen. Amen. Luke 6, 38. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. A good measure, pressed down, checking together, will men give unto you. You know, what that means, many people say, they say, oh God, First give me, and then I'll give you the blessing. It doesn't work like that. God says, you give me first, and then I will give you. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And God says, and when you give me, and I give you the blessing, it's going to be a good blessing. Amen. It's going to be a chicken together blessing. And, and I'm going to touch people that they're going to come and bless you. That's the way God works um, these situations. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you're about to receive things that you never have dreamed that you will, that you will receive. And this will be the season where God is going to bless your socks up. God is going to blow your mind. You know, um, I, I'm telling you, you know, I don't know. I, uh, I don't right now I'm feeling in the spirit. God is showing me there's a person on the Zoom that you've been thinking of taking a, a, a trip, like a like a cruise. It's kind of like a cruise. And, and, and God says you, you've been um, thinking too much in the natural and trying to figure things out. But God says, I'm gonna touch somebody and they're gonna bring you the money. And you will testify. Hear this, you will testify. On, on Zoom or, or to me, you will call me and tell me, you know what, Prophet Ruben? They, they paid me for a whole cruise trip, you Amen. know? So, somebody's about to receive that. It's going to be you, 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 you. Receive. I receive. I receive. I receive it in Jesus' name. I receive it. I receive it. Receive it. Say, sister, brother, if you don't want it, I'll, I'll, I'll grab it by force in Jesus' name. I'll grab it <laughs> Check this out. If you have a big need tonight, hallelujah. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Then you got to give according to your need. So if your need is small, you give small. If, if your need is big, you got to give big. And remember, when you give to God the seed, what happens? Multiplies. Multiplies. It multiplies. That's your harvest, a multiplication of your harvest. Amen. For the way you, I want you to write this down. For the way you give, that's the way it will be given unto you. Amen. For the way you give, that will be always the way that it will be given unto you. 
If you give a little, you receive little. If you give a lot, you receive a lot. If you give nothing, you receive a lot. No. no. If you give nothing, you what nothing. do you receive? Nothing. 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 Yes. Nothing. God is about to meet your physical needs. If you have a sickness and, and you've been having a sickness for a long time, today through your seed, God is going to perform that miracle in Jesus' name. How many say amen? Amen. 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 If you've been having mental situations that you can go to sleep, you don't have peace, you, you're, you're stressed. Well, today through your seed, you're going to be set free in Jesus' name. Amen. You can have in your finances today through your seed, all that is going to break and, and the anointing of multiplication is going to come into your life. How many say amen? Amen. amen? Remember, what you have in your hand is only a seed. But when you put it in God's hands, it becomes your harvest immediately. It doesn't wait. As soon as it, you give it to God, immediately God answers. It amen. becomes your harvest. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Just real quick, I'm going to choose three people in the, in the Zoom tonight. Hallelujah. To have that in your spirit, in your mind, because I'm going to show you something. When everyone, when anyone gives me an offering, you know, the first thing I do, and, and those that, that know me, the first thing I do, I put my hand over it and I, and I decree the blessing. And, I, and then, number two, I break the curse mm. from That's poverty, good. from poverty. And then, number three, I give, I release the prosperity okay. into their lives. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you got to do the Amen. same thing. Don't just get the envelope or the money. It's, oh, thank you, brother, sister. God bless you. No, 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 no. You got to do these three secret keys so yeah, you can perform the miracles that Jesus did. You know, you got to release the blessing, you got to break the curse, and you got to give the prosperity anointing in their lives. How many say amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. How many see that? Amen. Yeah. Anybody amen. else wants to share what they received today? Hallelujah. So at this time, I'm going to ask you to sow a special seed you know, for this um, um, anointing a multiplication, God said to sow a seed of 30 or of 60 or 100. You choose the blessing. You choose a seed of the blessing that you want God to give you today. You know, and, and, and I'm going to tell you, if you do not have it, make a promise that you will give it. You know, make a promise today with God. And I'm going to tell you, I encourage you to, to sow that 100, that 100 um, full blessing that, that will never stop in your life. Just, just like Isaac sowed in famine, the Bible says that in that same year, Isaac reaped a hundredfold. Jesus is saying it. Who, whoever has left their family, brothers, sisters, parents, houses, for my sake, to do my will, to do my work, I promise them a hundredfold blessing. I promise them eternal life. And I promise them, what else? That the last will be first. Amen. So if you want to be first in line in this season, that you that there's not, nothing lacking, nothing broken, that you're not all messed up and torn up, that, that your dreams are going to come true, that your business is going to prevail, that you're, you're going to be successful. How many say amen? That you're going to be the head and the tail. I, I ask God that through this seed, you know, that you're going to give 
that he will give you strategies and ideas what you need to do in this season, that everything also God will do it all new because this is a, a new beginning. Yes. This yes. is an eighth oh. month. Can I share? And, and, and check this out. Just, just let me know. Just tell me if God is not, I didn't even know this until right now he revealed it to me. What day is it today? The third. Third. Yeah, and, and, and God gave me three prophetic keys for this multiplication anointing that he wants to give you. Amen. So, sow your seed right now through Cash Up or through Zal. God knows your need. I'm going to pray for your need right now. He knows your name. So, just, uh, oh, before I pray, I, 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 we're going to go on a fast tomorrow. And we're going to fast for three days. So I'm also going to pray for, for the fast. And it's going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, only three days. And it's going to be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 Um, you cannot eat um, um, sweets. You cannot drink um, caffeine. And you cannot um, eat no red meat, but you can eat fish and you can eat vegetables and fruits and drink a lot of water from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. After 7 p.m., you cannot eat nothing. You just only can drink water for three days. And we break the fast at 7 p.m. on Saturday. Okay. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. First, I'm going to pray for, for the seed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree a multiplication like never before through the seed, Father God. If it's a 30, 60, 100, that your people will receive what they gave tonight, Father God, according to their seed. They will receive, Father God, the blessings in a multiplication in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Father God, that every need will be met, Father. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that those that are struggling with mental issues, with mental attacks, with doubt, with insomnia, with fear, with, with, with depression, with anxiety, with the spirit of death, with bad dreams, I curse every spirit to the root in the mighty name of Jesus. I cut every assignment to the root in the mighty name of Jesus and I decree that you have been set free in your mind. That you have the mind of Christ. You will think like Christ. You will dream like Christ and you will do everything like Christ. May every need be met. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. And Father amen. now I pray for everybody in the Zoom and those that will be connected with us in these three days of fasting, that everything will be broken, Father God. Every attack of the enemy, every witchcraft prayer, every witchcraft assignment will be cut to the root and it will be sent back to sender, Father God. We mm -hmm. decree that no weapon form against us shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, we decree, Father God, complete victory. 100% strengthen us mentally, physically, and spiritually. Feed us and give us a hunger for your word and a hunger to pray more than ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. God bless amen. all of you. Remember, you can always amen. call me at 559-309-0941. Um, the Lord loves you. I love you. And remember, you're going to be first and not last in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless Amen. all of us. God bless.